Hey, what's up? This is Anjali, and you're tuned into the Herb Magazine edition of the Video Music Awards. Hey, what's up? This is Girl Monique. And Vince P. And Anjali. And we're here at Jay-Z's 4040 Club for the Herb Magazine's edition of the MTV VMAs. So, um, can we start off and like move a little bit closer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get cozy. We're let's like so cozy. far away. Let's go all okay. over. Let's have a threesome. Wow. That was I too much. I just went, is, I went one this too This is the far. best. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best interview ever. <laughs> nah, I'm all right. All right. Anyway, uh, so back Ooh. to the interview. Yeah. Um, so you're nominated for Breakout Artist this year, the MTV Video Music Awards. Congratulations. Thank you. The song is titled Boom. Yes, Boom. Boom. How'd you come up with that name? Um, I wrote the song about a guy, and uh, I call him my boom guy, because like, whenever I would hear his name or I would make eye contact with him, I would feel this unbelievable physicality uh -huh. where my heart would just sink. And so it couldn't verbalize it. The only word I can think of was boom. Was boom? Yeah. You, is, you still know this guy? Yeah. Oh, OK. All right, just wondering. But it's not specific to him. It can be any guy. Oh, yeah. just any guy? Yeah. Okay, so like each person can specify it to their mm -hmm. individual lives. Yes, Thanks. yes. Perfect, okay. Or okay. you could have a boom girl. It doesn't even have to be about guys. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, I mean, how long have you been in town uh, for the VMAs? Uh, have here. you done anything cool? Pardon? Since you, have you done anything cool since you've been here? Yeah, I performed for, I, I performed for the Clintons. At um, Beacon Theater for 9/11 National Service Day. Really? Yeah, it was a, it was an initiative by Obama. He put together um, a day every year after 9/11 called National Service Day, and it was for other people that helped out um, after the disaster. So it was amazing. It was was uh, President Obama there? He was not there. He was uh, fighting over health care, probably. Y yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, when you heard the news of the nominee, like, what were your feelings about being actually a breakthrough artist for the MTV Awards? I mean, this is big. <laughs> um, I didn't believe it. My, the video director, Adria Petty, she called me and left me a message, and I deleted it. Mm -hmm. So I was like, don't be telling me things. <laughs> and then I looked online, and it was true, so I felt like a dork. But I also was very excited. <laughs> <laughs> so you said video. So we actually have a video for this. Yes. It's out. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Yeah, it's called Boom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we know. <laughs> what is your uh, What do your ring say right there on your left? Does it? It says Angie. Oh, okay. So you know. Can you zoom in on that? So if I get really mad at you, I can punch you, and then it will leave an imprint on your face. Just don't do it on my good side. <laughs> What's your good side? This both, side, because it's on the both camera. Sides, both sides. Both sides. <laughs> All right, so, I mean, how did you get started in music? I mean, you have, like, a very, like, distinct international sound. I mean, like, how what influenced you to actually start making music and what are... Um, I started as a songwriter. Okay. I started writing for a lot of other artists um, in Canada, and then I came down here and started writing and working with a lot of artists. I was just in the studio last month with Chris Brown and writing for Christiana Aguilera and um, a couple movies. I'm in the new fame movie movie musical so i've been doing a lot of like writing and then that kind of spurred on my own my own stuff did you do any i'm um, just did writing you didn't do any like on camera work i did um i did an independent film in new york okay called jail city really okay yes. how'd that go it went really well really yeah it was a really fun experience i played this like street kid uh -huh. um who runs into this guy who's on a mission to um, murder the, this other guy, and I become his accomplice. So it's very dark, but it's really? it's good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Did you enjoy the acting experience? I really did. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, looking to so. do any uh, television? Can I do television? No. Are you looking to do any television? What do you want to recruit future? me for your show? Yeah, I got a. Uh, it's still in development. You're hiring? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you actually had some music on. Uh, what was it? The Hills. Yeah. How how did that come about? Um, a producer that. Uh, was working on the hills. I le heard my record, and he really kind of fell in love with it early on. Uh -huh. So he started playing the music. I think back to back, we were in like five episodes that played like back really? to back. Yeah. So, so your your song was like that song on Dawson's Creek that they 
the I Don't Wanna Wait song, but just for the hell. Except for a lot of other different songs, not the same song. But oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay. How many songs do we have? <laughs> um, it was Addicted to Me was in there. Um, the Rain, Boom, Crazy That Way, which is the ballad. A lot of songs on my record. Nice. Yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, it is. It really is. So uh, what can we expect from you uh, the last part of 2009, early 2010? Any tours? Uh... Um, yeah, I'm touring on, I'm going out on Monday. I'm going on tour with Shwayze, who's another um, MTV artist, I guess. Uh -huh. uh, they had a reality show. Um, so th I'm going out with them and B.O.B. And then we're doing another tour right after that. That is a surprise. A surprise? Yes. Why is it? Why is it a surprise? Um, because it hasn't been officially announced yet, but it's very exciting. Okay, how do you like touring? I love it. I love playing live. Uh huh. It's so much more fun. I'm very like chill in person, but on stage I'm like really scary. Really? You, yeah. You punching people with your rings? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I was just gonna go more into your performance. Like, do you have your live band? Like, how? Yeah, I was just, I've just been in Toronto rehearsing with my new band, and um, they're amazing. I have a full piece and two girls that do backup sing singing and also um, look amazing. Nice. We fierce. So, um, <laughs> we have a really hot show. I mean, it, it definitely uh, takes, the, takes the album up a notch. Mm -hmm. It's very high energy and it's very kind of theatrical, so. Nice. Uh, what are you listening to on your iPod right now? Right now I'm listening to um, a record that I wrote for, uh -huh. Fifi Dobson's new record. It's called Joy. It's really okay. awesome. Also listening to um, Drake, fellow Canadian, who okay. I really love. And also listening to A.R. Rahman, who I might work with in the future, okay. who did Slumdog Millionaire. Oh, um, okay. Is there anything you would like to leave your fans with? Um, give us a preview of your acceptance speech tomorrow or I haven't even thought about my and I don't even I haven't even picked out the outfit fully yet. Oh, you haven't? No. You have a rather lovely outfit on right now, like how you get the the whole watch and dress. Thank you. The nails, loving the nails. <laughs> Thank you. you yeah. Do you have a stylist or you just do it all yourself? I do. I have my friend, his name's Wayne. Wayne? And he's amazing, yeah. Really? So you, you got a cart? Well, what, do you have a cart? He could you look good though. Yeah, I, I just pulled this out. We've been running around all day. Yeah, those shoes are cute. The laces. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> I'm joking. Mm -hmm. So, um, speaking of fashion, we know that we have a busy week of fashion week coming up. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything planned? Um, yeah. I, I'm leaving on, on Monday, but oh. um, what did I do? Did I go to a fashion we event? We had fashion so night out last week, too. Did you go to any oh, of the boutiques? Oh, yes, petites? I did. I went around in, in uh, Soho and went to a bunch of showrooms and stuff. Fun. And that yes. was so much fun, except it was rainy and nasty. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And impossible to, like, catch cabs and stuff. <laughs> always in New York on a rainy day, especially after five. It's always like that. Yeah. But it's good that you was able to catch it before you left town. Yeah. Cool. So... I okay. did not hurt New York this week. Any, <laughs> any uh, special words for your fans? Uh, um, yeah, follow me. Where? Buy me. Um, wanna be me? No, I'm joking. Don't wanna be me. But buy me. I'm in Starbucks uh, right now. The record's called Angelie, and it's also online. And I'm also on Twitter.com/slash Angelie Rocks. Can you spell Angelie for us? A N J U L I E. And that concludes our Herb Magazine interview at the MTV Video Music Awards with Angelie.